Howdy, Reed Desert Ward here. Hey, just a real quick, um, real quick thing. You know, I'm, I'm kind of up here now where I could uh, potentially go hunting. I've got some folks that might be willing to take me hunting. Um, so we're hunting season's a ways off, but right now is the time you got to have all your licenses and all that. Amy should have been buying them already, but uh, much more reasonable as a resident now that I'm now that I'm considered officially resident. Um, for that purpose um, so um, I'm still trying to figure out the thing with the sidearm for hunting right and uh, I've got a couple of you know my long arms right now I have my 4570 I've got my 3030 I've got my 270 I figure that kind of covers the bases for really big things and you know basic deer hunting you know maybe elk you know something like that but I've also been thinking about yeah what Maybe I'd like to explore eventually some lighter cartridges, but I have to be very precise. You know, something like a 2506. Some people like uh, like having them. Um, I've learned about ones. I think it's a. Let's see, I'll get this. I think it's a 257 Robert. Some people like that round. It's an unusual one. You don't find it real often. I know there's like 260 Remington. There's different ones. There's Winchester Short Magnum. There's different ones like that. Um, I think there's a 270 Weatherby, which I wasn't familiar with either. So, um, but as far as the handguns go, I'm still wanting to get a 41 Magnum. I ran across one. I'd like to have a Smith & Wesson Model 57, but if I can't find that, well, you know, uh, I also would be fine with a Ruger Blackhawk, you know, and just trying to get in a position where I can maybe go ahead and get that and so I think that would be a good caliber for me it would be up here because we have you know we have grizzly bears as well as black bears and there's also moose up here not right where I'm at but if I was to go up in the areas where there'd be honey it's either that or I you know need a 44 uh, mag which I kind of prefer not to have in a handgun not be not because it's not good but because it, it it just got a little bit more recoil everything i've been researching points me in the direction of 41s maybe got 20 25 percent less recoil but you still got the velocity and nearly the mass enough foot pounds of energy to do the job um, otherwise you know you could go with the 45 colt um, probably you know if it's if the weapon is rated for plus p um, you know, you could probably do something like that, but, you know, uh, I know a lot of people do 10 millimeter nowadays and, you know, that I was looking at as well, but I, I'm still kind of the revolver guy. So 41 mag, you know, I like, you know, I've watched the, the path that Tom Boy's ghost has been on with that and shout out to him. He always has great, great material and, uh, if you haven't seen him. Uh, Mr. Plowboy's Ghost Channel, he's got a lot of real interesting things about uh, single action uh, revolvers and lever actions and things as well. And so, um, anyway, I just uh, just wanted to to uh, talk a little bit about that. I'm still working on it. When I get, whenever I do get one, I'll, I will be letting you know. So, as the Reed Desert Boy always says, be safe out there. You know, whatever you're doing. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. I know. Just a real quick update on the whole 41 Magnum thing. I actually went into this gun store the other day, and I'd seen one there. I'd been there for a little while, maybe a week or two. And uh, I went in there, and I was finally getting ready to get it. And, of course, I got in there, and, and somebody had just picked it up before. Last time I went in there... He actually brought me the gun in a couple boxes of ammo, and I wasn't quite ready to buy it. But uh, so it looks like I'll still have to wait. And uh, just a quick update on that. So as Reed Desert Boy always says, be safe out there, whatever you're doing. And if you like this video, please like, comment, and subscribe. Bye now.